Hello, my name is Dr. Adam Stich. I'm an interventional cardiologist at Sanford Cardiovascular Institute. And I uh, perform cardiac procedures at Sanford Heart Hospital. I'd like to tell you today about a method that we have developed over years at Sanford Cardiovascular Institute that minimizes the amount of contrast use per patient uh, during coronary angiography and uh, percutaneous coronary intervention. Contrast material is used in every procedure of this kind and there's over 3 million procedures, including coronary angiography and percutaneous intervention in the country per year, many more in the world. Contrast can be toxic to kidneys. It can cause a contrast-induced injury to the kidneys, even lead to dialysis. Our patient population is quite vulnerable to kidney injury as they, uh, there's prevalence of diabetes as well as uh, elderly patients. Our algorithm has been developed since 2006 um, and first published in 2011. It includes and is based of mostly on uh, automatic contrast injector programming as well as uh, techniques of catheter manipulation during coronary angiography and intervention. These uh, techniques have allowed us to give ultra low amounts of contrast per patient per procedure and these uh, numbers are lowest reported in literature. For example, we can perform a coronary angiography with 10 to 20 cc's of contrast, and then percutaneous intervention and follow with another 10 or 20 cc's. Other studies and uh, other devices that are used to preserve contrast, to decrease the contrast in, uh, um, uh, in a patient, uh, have uh, not reported as low numbers for contrast delivery and if anything they are twice or three times the amount of contrast per procedure per patient than ours. The um, more contrast we give the more kidney failure happens. There's a very simple relationship in that matter and contrast preservation or reduction of contrast is one of the most effective ways we know of protecting the kidneys. In the national database of cardiac catheterization uh, with uh, over 3 million procedures. It has been published two years ago. Uh, we find that pretty high numbers of uh, contrast volume per patient. Only 1.7% of patients in this database had less than 50 milliliters of contrast given per procedure. 2.7% of patients, on the other hand, have had over 400 milliliters of contrast given uh, per patient. We have validated our technique in a retrospective study that has shown also that the amount of uh, renal failure is decreased with our ultra low delivery of contrast. We uh, have been teaching our cardiology fellows uh, this technique since year one and they can apply this technique in year one and then master it by second year. Any interventional cardiologist in, at any institution in the world can use this algorithm and effectively decrease the value of contrast by a factor of at least two, if not five, thus improving their patient's safety and health. The technique has been modified recently to a very simple branching algorithm with which we can take care of most of the patients, 90, 95% of patients can go through only one to two settings of the automatic injector during coronary angiography. Most of them, I think, with one setting, and this alone will have a huge impact if applied to a large population uh, when it comes to patients' complications. We plan to educate and uh, promote research on ultra-low conscious delivery techniques farther on. Our prospective study has been recently published for all comers to the cardiac cath lab. 200 patients one after another, we're going through the algorithm of ultra-low contrast delivery, and all of them have had successfully reduced uh, amounts of uh, contrast delivered. Again, 10 to 20 milliliters of contrast per procedure was the average um, that was given. Compared to the rest of literature, this is the lowest there is. We're very proud of our achievements at Sanford Kajwaskar Institute, and uh, we plan to do more research to increase patient safety. In conclusion, at Sanford Cardiovascular Institute, we apply ultra-low contrast delivery technique. 
decreasing the amount of contrast by a factor of two to five from usual given around the world and in our country. This decreases the amount of kidney failure and uh, improves patients' outcomes. Our algorithm is simple, reproducible and easy to teach. We're going to dissipate this technique around the country and the world by educating our fellows, doing live cases and further research with publications. Thank you very much. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be starting a diagnostic catheterization biplane room using our ultra-low contrast delivery technique and the automatic injector. Go ahead. We're using our universal catheter, Jackie, five French. Um, I'm going to take it uh, up there to the... Okay. <laughs> Good. Sir, take a deep breath in, please. Deep breath. Beautiful. Exactly like that. And breathe normally. We have a little tortuosity in subclavian system, which is okay. We'll just cross it with a bigger loop like this. Take a deep breath for me now. Okay. And we're in aorta. Breathe normally, please. Ascending aorta reached. We're going to park here. Go ahead, flash the catheter. Puff, please. Zero. Zero. Very well. And come, now comes the fun part. What we're going to do is we're going to set our injection 244.5, flow of two milliliters for volume of contrast pressure of 300 PSI and 0.5 seconds uh, rise time. So rate, rate of rise is not that high so that we don't have the spillover into the aorta. We'll set our standard pictures. 15 frames, please. And uh, go ahead and engage the uh, left coronary artery first. Deep breath in, sir. Hold your breath. Okay, breathe normally. By the dance of the catheter, we know we're in the left system. So up front, without even knowing that we, uh, uh, th without even looking at the contrast spill, we haven't done any contrast yet. We know that we are in the left system, probably left circumflex. However, the good news is that this is a shot from left circumflex. So in fact, since we have the flushed catheter, we can actually go two for four. Two cc's will be for the catheter filling. This is a five French system, so it takes two cc's to fill, and then the other two cc's will go into the, into the patient. This way I'm, I'm going to avoid the initial puff. Cine, inject. And here we have just two cc injection. Shows us nicely the left system. Yes, we're more towards left circumflex, but we can fill LAD very well. This catheter is good for contrast preservation because it has side holes. So it will, in the case of deep, in deep intubation of the left system, uh, give you an advantage of spillback that is more controlled than just regular flow back. We'll do 244 again. Cine, inject. Okay, very well then. Now we administered two plus four which is exactly six cc's of contrast for the left system. We have enough information, very diagnostic pictures. We'll intubate the right coronary artery. The ultra-low contrast delivery technique is based on two main things. Automatic injector programming, specific programming that we've developed, and then catheter techniques. Different catheter techniques that are used to intubate the coronaries relatively deeper than usual, if you can, and, uh, and uh, coaxially. Take a deep breath in, sir. It looks like we have a pretty significant tortuosity here. Breathe normally. Yes, then we're in. 
if you notice on the screen, the dance of the tip of the catheter, we're in the right coronary artery. We'll use the 244 injection again. Cine, inject. Yes. And that's more than enough. And we are done with the diagnostic part of the procedure. What we have accomplished here, we found uh, severe two-vessel coronary artery disease, including a chronic total occlusion of uh, distal LED. We have found that proximal right has severe stenosis. Mid-right has moderate to severe stenosis. There's also RPL severe disease, uh, moderate to severe disease. And left circumflex is a non-dominant system with mild to moderate disease only, and then branch disease. Total contrast load here is six cc's of contrast for the left system and four cc's of contrast for the right system. This makes total of 10 cc's of contrast for full, for full diagnostic film. Um, we have relied here on specific programming and also catheter maneuvers uh, that include the intubation without dye. Our original technique of ultra-low contrast delivery based on initial spillover, so-called spillover, when you puff a 0.5 cc of contrast at the tip of catheter and see where you are, and uh, if you are in the coronary, then you know more or less what kind of flow characteristics we are dealing with. And these flow characteristics would then um, dictate the programming of the, of the device. Uh, this technique has been published in 2011, uh, uh, initially, and then validated um, a few years ago in a prospective study of 200 patients, all cameras. Um, the uh, technique itself perhaps was too complex when it comes to programming parameters. We have four programming parameters that we have to program the device here, the injector. Um, Thus, we came with a better idea. What we have done is we simplified the protocol to one setting only, that is 244.5 that we just used today. And I believe that this setting can take care of 90% of the cases. Um, if need be, you can decrease the amount of dye to 242.300.5 if there's a small system, small right coronary or, or uh, occlusions or increase the flow uh, when you have very torrential flow of uh, dye, for example, in a severe left ventricle hypertrophy patients, or uh, very often uh, NC adrenal disease patients have that. Um, then you can go three, four, six, 300.5. So from uh, an algorithm of few settings, published initially in 2011, we came to one setting only with possible two uh, different paths depending on uh, what the first shot looks like. In our case here, one could argue that we gave even too much dye because you have, you have a lot of spillover from, into aorta, as you can see on the screen, right? And then also when it comes to the uh, right coronary artery, you have significant spillover and a lot of dye going in to the right coronary, filling it completely and opacifying completely with good quality imaging. So the right coronary artery could have been done uh, with a 242 setting, the, the, the secondary setting that I just mentioned. However, for the edu 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 educational purposes, we, we, uh, we were doing our standard setting. So I think simplification of this, this protocol can save a lot of dye in a lot of patients. Uh, average dye load per diagnostic catheterization is not 10 cc's in the country and around the world, it's more than 100 cc's, which is 10 times more. If you look at our national database of NCDR, the, 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 the numbers are pretty high. This technique and this setting of 244-300.5 can be applied to both coronary trees, left and right, can be applied to left internal mammary artery or any other arterial graft or any vein graft. Um, and I would encourage everybody, everybody strongly, when they are uh, especially inter interventionalists, uh, to apply this technique to save dye, to save patients' kidneys, and improve patients' um, quality of life as well as longevity. Thank you very much.